All right, we got boards back thanks to PCB Way, and these boards will be on my share site um, after I fix them. <laughs> <laughs> so people had watched the previous video. I have a, a layout. I have a layout problem over here. So this section of the board here is all messed up. So kind of ignore, kind of ignore that one. But look at that. In fact, what we can do is we can just, we can just break that off and throw it away. <laughs> but this part of the board is fine. Yeah. So let's take a closer look at this thing. All right. Here they, here they are. Lovely boards. Pull one out. So um, if people aren't familiar with V-Groove technology, it's probably not going to photograph well, but um, they use a router bit that has a, it has a point and they, they route uh, down so that it only goes about one, maybe one third of the way in, and then they route from the back side only goes about one third of the way in. So you have, you only have about one third of the PC board left right in the middle. So it's easy to break apart, which I just, which I've, which I just demonstrated. So if you bend this board, these, uh, these sections here are going to break. Now there will be a little section here. That's not gonna, not gonna cooperate, uh, cause I can't get any leverage on it, but if you just bring in some, bring in some pliers and, uh, and you can break that off. Uh, there we go. Uh, it's kind of hard to break on those things there, but we'll go ahead and break, break a couple of these off. Uh, so yeah, that's what I intended. All right. And, uh, the way that these will be used is with some of this stuff. All right. So these are nine pins. So let's go ahead and cut a cut nine pins worth of this stuff off. Uh, let's see here. Two, four, six, eight, nine. That. I'll cut that. All right. So these should slide right on under these pins here. There we go. Just a like of that. And, um, yeah, that looks pretty good. And that looks pretty good. And then we'll just solder that. And I was taking a look at how much I needed on the backside too. So the backside, there's, there's this piece here. It also is kind of V groove technology. It has a, it has a V groove in it as well. Let's see if I can find, show this on camera, this little, this little tab here, you kind of have to wiggle back and forth and that breaks off. And now you have, uh, can I go down any farther? Oh yeah, I can. Well, there you go. Um, so, uh, you can see it here. So the, little pad on the back is long enough to be able that you could solder the back as well, uh, or you can just solder the front. Uh, but I think mechanically it might be nice to solder the back. So it's set up to, to do it either, to do it either way. The other thing that I haven't talked about was this via hole that I have in the boards. You can just see it there. And that's, um, that's to keep the pads from ripping off. I wanted a mechanical strength between the front and the back um, in case you only soldered one side and then you kind of levered off the, off the pads. That, that via there makes a nice, a, a nice stout connection between the, this side of the, of the pad and this side of the pad. So anyway, I just thought that was a good idea, something like that. Uh, let's see here. We can take a look at maybe one of these guys. Uh, and it is a one, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll come up here to our, I got to widen back out again. Come back up to this stuff. Uh, two, four, six. And two, four, six is there. And then this little guy just slips, 
slips in like that and perfect yeah isn't that isn't that lovely isn't that lovely and then you have to probably would want to solder it first before you did this uh backside thing but i just wanted to show it so you can see what it looks like and uh yeah that will be great and then once you get it all soldered then you can uh, you can trim the leads and then you have a uh you have a sip to dip or sip to smd uh, sip to smd conversion very very nice all right here's one uh that i've soldered so you can see what that looks like and uh, we could try to do the backside soldering just to see how that uh, just to see how that works out. Let's see here. So that looks very nice as well. So you could do uh, one side or the other side or both sides, uh, whatever you feel like, uh, whatever you feel is best for your application. But yeah, that turned out that turned out really nice. Very happy. Let's clip the leads. Let's let's get at least one one complete unit before I stop the video. There we go. That's what the uh, that's what the final product will look like. It's got nice long leads. Put it in a proto board or a PC board or whatever you want to do. And uh, yeah, very nice. So there you go. That was my journey into making my own SMD to SIP converters. And uh, I think it was a positive result. Uh, here's, the, uh, here's the part number of these guys if you're looking for it. Uh, from uh, TE, TE Connectivity. Um, inventory number. SO number, TE number, I don't know what number is the right, oh, here we go, part number. I guess that the part number you want to do is a 15442102-2. They should have it in stock and you can order it uh, in any quantity you want. Some of the other ones are multi-thousand quantities only, but this one they seem to have in stock um, and uh, shipping was reasonable.